This is India's first electric train. The train began its journey in 1925 with only four coaches. From Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus to the Kurla Harbour. Operating the train was Jahangir Franji Darwal, the first motorman of an electric train in India. So, why are we talking about a century-old train today? This event marked a crucial transition in how the Indian railways are powered. And today, the railways are undergoing another shift. Back then, electrification was about climbing steep terrain and hauling heavy load. Today, it's about cutting emissions, meeting climate goals, and achieving efficiency. By replacing diesel-based locomotives with electric ones, India aims to make our railways a net zero emitter by 2030, which means it will balance the amount of greenhouse gases produced by it by removing the same amount from the atmosphere. Between 2018 and 2024, the Indian railways have reduced the diesel consumption by 56%, saving costs and reducing emissions. Here's some trivia for you. Rail transport produces 89% less emissions for transporting one ton per kilometer than via road. As of today, 99% of India's broad gauge railway lines have been electrified. But this is only the beginning. Yes, switching from diesel to electricity cuts emissions on the tracks. But the electricity is still largely generated by the coal power plant, which means the emissions are shifted from the track to the coal power plant. Now, the railways are also setting up their own solar and wind projects on land, platforms and rooftops. As their share grows, the railways move closer to the net zero goals. A hundred years ago, the railways adapted to solve a problem of their time. While decarbonization is no silver bullet to tackle climate change, will the railways be able to lay a track from the problem to the solution?